Hawaii. It's a great school though, home school. Always have love, love for them. Go draw them. Kansas State. Like you said, it's cold there. But it is a big 12. I haven't got a chance to visit them yet, but hopefully during the summer I can find some time. LSU. Another SEC school, big reputation. Uh, I want to try to visit there sometime. Sometime in the summer. Coach Oregon. Orgerin? How do you say his name? Coach. The coach at LSU. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's pretty popular. The players like him a lot. Um, between Georgia and LSU, is that a tough choice if you have to pick one SEC as a visit, or you're probably going to visit both? Because uh, you only have five, right? I'll probably visit uh, LSU. Over Georgia? Yeah. All right, I, I got it. I went to uh, Georgia last summer. Oh, so you uh, seen it? Yeah, I, I got a chance to see it. So if you first. don't visit Georgia on your official visit, that doesn't mean they're out. It's just you already seen the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Especially okay. with other schools. Yeah. Nebraska. Nebraska is another good, great school. I never got a chance to visit, though. But hopefully I get out there. So, so Nebraska, Kansas City, the two big 12 schools, right? That offered. This is what I've seen before, where one school from a conference that's not close to Hawaii, they're all far, but recruits a guy, and the other schools are like, let's go do some research on this guy. Okay. And they go see all your videos, and they talk to some people in Hawaii, and they're like, this guy is good. And that's how they find out, because somebody else in the conference did all the legwork. Yeah. That doesn't matter now, right? Yeah. Definitely help. That's that trickle down, that domino effect where it's just, it goes from two offers to eight offers. Now it's like, psh. So Notre Dame, does Notre, are you Catholic? Uh, Christian. So if you were Catholic, Notre Dame might appeal a little bit more. I'm actually going on a visit next week. Oh. Yeah. Parents could. Yeah, my parents are coming. I always wanted to visit that place, Touchdown Jesus. Big mural, and G yeah, that's what they call it. Uh, does the mystique of Notre Dame, the history, does that have a factor, or are you just looking strictly football terms, just coaches that, program? Just the uh, tradition there, like with the entire school, like the entire program, the coaches. And you can tell like they're they're just a like, good good program because of the tradition. I guess. Uh, Ohio State. Is that one of the more eye-popping offers? Or did you know it was coming? Well, the coach was talking to me for, for a little bit, and then a couple of days ago, he called me. Because I just, uh, I think I told him my SAT score, and then after a few days later, he, he told me to call him, and then he offered me. So I was, uh, my, me and my parents were both happy. And uh, I'm just very blessed that I was able to that to happen. Now, is sorry, playing in the Big Ten, is that like a big deal or is it like SEC, Big Ten, Big 12? I mean, oh, do, you, okay. do you in your mind, like most people like rank the conferences? I mean, um, all those uh, conferences are all big time. So if they all play each other, like teams all play each other. So you can, like, I guess during the season, you can see like how every everybody matches up. And you can tell, I don't know. Oklahoma. Now there's your Big 12 king. I mean, maybe, I don't know if they won the conference this year, but they're always, they're like the Yankees, right? What do you, how do you think of Oklahoma? I know it's a great school. They're, they're going to be uh, a great team this year. I'm just um, excited to, to see what the future holds. Ole Miss, that's where Jordan Tomu is. Uh -huh. And he's graduating or leaving school. Uh, that's another SEC school. I haven't got a chance to visit them, but I definitely want to try and um, get there in the summer.